Mm-hmm. I was starting to feel myself, as you can see. back to my channel i'm jara cozy and if you're new here you already know what to do make sure that you like comment and subscribe in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys through my simple brow routine let's get into it okay so i'm going in with my morphe micro brow pencil in the shade java i'm just going to lightly brush my brows to get started and now I'm going to get my pencil ready. I'm only pushing it up a tad bit so that I'm not putting too much color into my brow. I want to keep it as natural as possible. I'm going to first start outlining the bottom of my brow line with very, very small strokes. Make sure that you're being careful and that you don't rush this step. Then I'm gonna outline the top of my brow, kind of midway though, where the natural arch starts. So I'm not going to from the front of my brow, just the middle section of the top of my brow. And as you can see, I am taking my time, child. I'm taking my time. Do not rush this process. And then I'm just gonna fill in lightly on that tail end where it's a little sparse. I'm making sure that there still isn't too much of the pencil and I'm just focusing on that tail end so I can keep the front natural. And how we looking? We looking good? Okay, on to the next. I'm just gonna repeat the same step on the other brow, just outlining the bottom of that brow line, going in soft, slow strokes. Also, I made sure not to speed this process up so you guys can see just how long it takes in real time. I am going a little slower since I'm filming this for you guys, but in reality, it should only take you about five minutes. And I'm starting at the top middle section like I did with the other brow and just filling it in lightly. On this part, I kind of went a little overboard. As you can see, I'm about to clean it up with my micellar water, which is a very simple fix. And then I'm going to go back in and finish that brow. And we're just going to brush just a tad to natural it out. And as you can see in the front, I'm going in with soft hair like strokes i'm being very very careful because i don't want to make it too dark and now i'm going in with one of my fave concealers from this nyx color correct conceal palette and baby let me tell you this palette is the truth i'm just going to go in with my flattened brush and clean up those brows with this concealer and with that concealer, I'm just gonna follow the line of that brow that I created with that pencil. I'm using my flat brush. I'm going very, very slow to make sure that I don't mess up anything. And one of the major keys is that I'm using a really thick concealer because that will really help to keep those brows in place. So y'all, my brows are naturally kind of thick, so I don't really aim to get that skinny tail at the end of my brow that you know, you know what tail I'm talking about. As long as my brows are clean and crisp, that's all that matters to me. So as you can see here, I'm just cleaning up that end of my brow. And to blend it out, I'm just gonna take a fluffy shadow brush and some setting spray. You can dampen it with water if you'd like, and I'll just blend that concealer out. And I'm gonna go in again with that concealer and this time just like how I only penciled in the middle part I'm only gonna conceal the middle part of my brow just to keep it natural I was starting to feel myself as you can see but like I said before I'm just gonna go in with that damp shadow brush you can dampen it with water or with a setting spray and just blend that out And 
and we're all done. Always remember that your brows are sisters, not twins, okay? Period. Okay guys, this is my final brow look. This is my staple routine. It's super simple and once I got it down packed, it became quick and easy for me to do as well. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.